Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kavir Prasad. Welcome to another video on astrology. So today we are going to talk about or discuss about the divisional charts. Okay, uh, just at the very high level. Uh, so first, first we have to see what is a divisional chart. Divisional chart, otherwise it's known as Varga Chakras. Right. So in every Rasi will be divided by certain number. Okay. And that number uh, is used and then a new chart will be created like your Lagna chart, like your Rasi chart or Lagna chart and then predict it. So what is happening is <clears throat> a lot of uh, people are using the Lagna chart that is the basic horoscope that we call and then start predicting. Whatever is the Lagna, 10th Lord, 7th Lord, 6th Lord, 8th Lord, whatever it is, right? 5th Lord for children, you know, like that. For every event, you, they go to that specific uh, Karatatwa of that Bhava and then start predicting it, <clears throat> right? But we have already always seen that. I, I always tell that, right? The Lagna contains 30 degrees, right, from each side. You cannot really pinpoint that entire uh, that lagna and the seventh lord seventh house tenth house sixth house fifth house like that right it varies right it varies so there are so many methods in deciphering that, that uh, uh, ca calculating and then predicting that bhava okay so in uh, divisional charts so there are again so many charts specific charts that you need to use Say, for example, so D1 is the Lagna chart, right? That's what we do. <clears throat> then you can use D2. D2 basically divisional chart number two. That is, you are dividing it by two. Okay. So that is used for <clears throat> Hora. Hora chart, it is called. So it is used for wealth, right? So then like that D3, Drekana, that is used for siblings. Okay. D4. Chatur, uh, Chatur Thamsa, that is used for destiny. Okay. D7, uh, Shaptamsa, that is used to, for to predict children. D9, Navamsha, that is used for spouse. I have seen a lot of people, they use the Navamsa chart for everything. Okay. For every event prediction, they are using Navamsa chart. No. Navamsa chart is only for spouse. Okay, only for a spouse, right? So like that, <clears throat> then uh, for example, D24, that is for uh, Chatur Vimshamsa, that is for knowledge. Okay, so like that, that, there are up to D60. Okay, so many charts are there and each chart is for a specific purpose. So we have to use a specific purpose, see what <clears throat> the client or the native is asking about and then refer that chart and then do the prediction. We cannot just like that use the basic, the Lagna chart and start doing the prediction. That means if you start doing it, your uh, our predictions are become hit or miss situation. Okay, it may be right, it may be wrong. Okay, you uh, so we should, if we are trying to uh, use the Parashiri method, then you should always use the division chart. If you are using other methods, like I, I use uh, standard ARI method, for that we don't need a divisional charts. We have another different charts uh, to use. We just create only one chart. And after that, it is only the uh, Bhava combinations. Right? We create the Bhava chart. And then from Bhava chart, we create the combinations. And then we start predicting. KP is also the same thing. And, right? But if you are using Parashari method, following Parashari method, please use the divisional chart for predicting not just only the Lagna chart. Thank you very much. We will talk about an another interesting topic on another day.